guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do another cloudy effect um, tree ring pour. Um, if you saw video number 59, where I did the purple tree ring cloudy pour with all the different shades of purple and you know, that was turned out really good, you know, whatever, uh, until Juno decided to step in it and put his paw in it. Um, <laughs> So he ruined it. Um, I would have kept it because it had like the most perfect paw print right in smack in the middle of the paint. You may have seen the pictures I maybe I posted on my Instagram and my Facebook. But he had the perfect paw print and I totally would have kept it. But then he decided to take my slipper and then like smoosh it around and into the canvas. So then it was really garbage after that. There was no saving it after that. So I scraped it and here it is. You can see his paw print in there. That's my son. He's sitting here watching and laughing. Buddy, seriously. So yeah, I scraped it because he had a paw print here and then this whole part here, he had just thrown my slipper into it. So I threw the slippers away and then I scraped the canvas. It's been dry for about a week or so or more. Um, so I'm gonna try again and um, I'm gonna try different colors. Purple still, but I'm gonna add a few different colors. So let me bring it down. Here we go. All right, so the colors I'm using today are Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. And the next color is Cadmium Red Light Hue by Liquitex Basics. Then I have a Violet by Artist Loft. And then I have Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. And the last color I have is Brilliant Purple. So they're all here mixed up with Floetrol paint and a little bit of water to make it a little extra runny. Um, so one, two, three, four colors are just Floetrol paint and a couple of drops of water to make it to the fluid consistency that I like. And then the light purple has the paint, Floetrol, water, and then it has the Deco Art Satin Enamel white in it. That's what cre creates the cloud effect. So I have it only in the light purple. So let me see if I can show you the consistency of the paint so you don't want it to be too thick you want it to run off the popsicle stick let's see if I can use let's see different color it's hard to see it's, it's I'm upstairs instead of the basement and it's a beautiful beautiful sunny day for a change but there you go it just drips right off the popsicle stick so there you have it and then in this cup here it's just flow trawl same as this, but I, this is for flooding my canvas. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm gonna flood this canvas. Hopefully it's enough to flood the canvas. If not, as long as I get the edges, that's all that matters. Cause it's the edges that matter since the center is gonna have the ring inside anyway. So let's spread it around. And then I have Mr. Juno sleeping under the kitchen table right by my feet. For anyone who is wondering, uh, he is doing so much better. He is a healthy boy now, thank God. So, all the meds and the vet visits got him healthy. So, that is that. Scrape this off. Don't want to waste any. What for? All right. See if I can just make sure I get all my edges. So hopefully it still works on a on this canvas. Like I mean, it's been dried out for a while now. So there we go. Now got my uh, measuring cup here. 
So I'm gonna start with um, the darkest color. Let me see if I put it, let's see. So I'm gonna start with the dark first. Let me just scrape it out. There's no sense in wasting any paint. All right. Let's see if I could just bring this down and then bring this over here. So the next color is I'm gonna do the uh, cadmium red hue or whatever, even though it looks like orange. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna pour it up high so that I want it to sink down below the purple. So some of it did, some of it didn't because I was pouring along the spout, which I shouldn't have. All right. Then the violet, there we go. That's what I should have done. All right. And the yellow. I don't know if these colors are gonna look good. I have no idea. We'll find out together. All right. And finally, the light purple with the Deco Art Satin Enamel. So I only put, um, in for the Deco Art, I just put like about that much, just about that much on the popsicle stick. I didn't measure it or anything. All right. Let's see what happens. Where's my torch? Here it is. Let's pop any bubbles on this first. Not that there is any. All right. Let's see what happens, guys. Start in the middle. Cross your fingers. And if you want, you could always turn while you're pouring. I find that extremely difficult to do while I'm pouring. So I can try, but well, all my light purple came out right away. I hope that doesn't end up falling off the edge because that would suck because that's what's going to make all the clouds. And out comes the dioxazine purple. That's a lot of paint in here. I tend to do that a lot. I think I'm gonna stop and not pour it all out because that is a lot of paint. Well, it's almost done anyway. All I see is purple down there at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna torch it again. The rings look pretty good actually. So we'll see what happens. All right, let me see if I can bring you in for a close look. So that's what it looks like, which is pretty cool. So let's see what happens when I start to tilt. All right. Okay. And remember, when we're tilting, we need some serious patience. Because if you tilt too fast, then you're just gonna ruin it. So, here we go. Wish me luck. This might take a while. You might want to fast forward. I'll try and think of a story to tell you. I don't have any Juno stories, unfortunately, um, other than he's doing well. Okay, guys, I'm back. I, I have no idea what happened there. I didn't get a phone call, so it didn't interrupt my video, and my battery's not dying, so it just stopped recording which is so crazy. So thank God I looked up at the phone and noticed that the phone was black 
and the screen was dark because I would have just kept going and you would have missed the whole thing. So uh, I really have no idea what the heck happened there, but good thing I noticed. Very, very bizarre that that happened. All right, so back to tilting this as slowly and as carefully as possible. I have no patience for this kind of stuff, but I'm definitely liking what's going on um, in the center. I'm hoping I can manage to keep that in the center. So I wonder if I should just slowly get that to go right over the edge and then bring it back. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it right back to the center. Like so. So I wanna try and keep my center. All right, so I'm back in the center and now I'm gonna to go to the other corner and get the other corner. There's a lot of purple in the center there. And what happened to all my rings? I have no idea. So let's keep going and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's come back to the center. And we'll go down to this corner now. Wow, that is a lot of purple over there. Lots of purple. I may even just bring it back to that corner and get rid of a lot of that purple. We'll see. Because I've got a lot of the light color here where I'm tilting, but I've got none of it in the other corner. So bring it back to the center. And we got one more corner to go. And we'll see what happens. Okay, back to the center and let's go down to this corner. Yeah, I might go back towards the other corner. It's so hard to tilt and try and keep you guys in the camera angle there, but. All right. So I'm gonna bring it back to the center I'm really liking what's going on though with the orange there. I'm really liking that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it back out and come back this way. My center will no longer be in the center, but I don't care because I want to get this down, this purple, a lot of this purple off. So. There, I like that. This, not so much. All right, that's pretty cool actually. I'm liking, I definitely see the orange and the purple. The yellow has pretty much disappeared except for over here. There's a purple corner here because I didn't want it go all the way. And I'm liking, I should be careful what I drape over the canvas. So let's clean this off. I guess I didn't learn my lesson the first time. I totally forgot to take those off. Oh well, nothing a toothbrush can't clean up. So I'm actually really liking this. I like the way that turned out actually. In my previous pour in the video 59 I had used um, copper and in this one I used the orange and I'm really liking the orange. So what's going to happen what I hope is um, as time goes by more and more cells will continue to um, pop up. I could torch it but I'm not going to because I don't want 
any clusters or any teeny tiny cells to pop up just in case. I'm really liking the big circles. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna be done with it. I'm just gonna make sure um, my edges are covered, which I can see here some of the sides here are not. So I'm just gonna touch it up here. Like so. I'll keep an eye on it. And if in like half hour it's changed um, drastically, I will take a picture of it and I will um, add it to the end of this video. If it hasn't changed at all, then there's no point in me taking a picture of it. Um, you'll just, you can see it here, what it looks like. So let's see, where's my paper towel? I need some orange. Oh, there's still some orange in there actually. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna leave it. As I said, I'll bring you guys in for um, a close up and hopefully my camera doesn't stop rolling, which was so bizarre. Um, but anywho, there it is. Some really cool rings and the cloud right there. So there you have it. A redo of the um, purple and gold, although this is purple and orange, but a redo of the one Juno ruined because <laughs> he decided to put his paws in it. And then he ran around the entire house and got purple paint everywhere. So I wasn't home when that happened. My husband was, so he had fun cleaning that up. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. I got a bell. Click on the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. And that is it, all the links. Um, I have my Facebook and my Instagram links below. Um, there are links to Amazon where you can buy like the torch, the spatula, and a few other stuff that I use myself. Those links are below, as well as um, a PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to me. Um, and help me um, buy supplies and materials and keep this channel going. So if anyone would like to do that, that link is down there below. So thank you so much for everyone for watching and I will see you guys in the next video and I will show you <laughs> who's under here having a nap, kind of, sleeping. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time, bye.